Good morning and happy Sabbath to all. First of all, I would like to thank God for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Uh, before starting, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us this wonderful Sabbath, Lord. Now, as we are going to uh, learn the future talk, Lord, what we are going to study, Lord, help us that it should be useful for us and help us to learn something new from it, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Uh, last time when I took health talk, last time when I took health talk, so can anyone guess on what topic did I take? Smile. Okay. Last time I took health talk on the topic called smile and today I'm going to take the future talk and uh, it's on the topic, uh, before going into topic, I would like to ask you all one question. How many of you love sports? No one. Only one, two, okay. Uh, recently also from our church we had sports and uh, today I have chosen the topic on that. And uh, first I would like to, uh, be including my question, and this is also my topic. The topic is, is sports sin? And also my topic is, is sports sin? Can anyone tell is sports sin? If we play, is there any sin we commit there? No, okay. At last we'll see whether it is sin or not. And uh, let's go to the next slide. So what is sports? We have to see it first. So sports is nothing but it's an athletic game. Sir. And uh, it's a play, pastime, exercise games, contest, performed under given rules and indoor and outdoor. So many things are there. This is the definition of sports. And if we come to the importance of sports, uh, we can see here. Teeth. Next slide. Teaches lesson of life such as teamwork, accountability, self-confidence, responsibility and self-discipline. These are the things uh, which we can see as importance of sports. And next let's see how many types of sports are there. So there are, next slide, there are 8000 indigenous sports and sporting games and we can see. And we'll go to the next slide. What are the three types of sports? There are so many types of sports, but let's see the three types of sports. First one is individual sport. Second one is dual sport. And third one is team sport. And if we go to the next slide, uh, which country is first in sports? So there are a lot of uh, things given in Google you can search, but a few things I got that's like uh, Australia comes top as the world's sportiest country and Taiwan is the most recreationally active country and USA ranks uh, IS for Olympic and Allied sporting success. Uh, so there are a lot of sports but today I have chosen only one sport. It's none other but football which everyone loves. So let's see the older name of football. So the game was called C-U-J-U means it's uh, pronounced as Suju which translates to kill, kick ball. The goal of the game was to kick the ball into a net and it prohibited the use of hands. We won't use our hands, we'll kick it by our feet. That's the older uh, and uh, that is how we play football. And there will be two teams. Uh, there will be two teams and they'll be playing the football and uh, who invented the football so while no per while no one person can claim to have invented football Ebenezer Morley is known as the father of football so he was called as the father of football and next let's see who is the best football player at present let's see who is the uh, best football player it's none other but uh, Leo Messi is the number one football player in the world he has scored 826 goals for the club and country uh, there uh, and we have a history also for football and uh, you can see it here and uh, next is let's see how bible is compared to sports what does bible say about sports in bible also if we see there are few warriors who played sports in bible so they are like uh, 
David, Elijah, Samson, Peter and Paul. There are a lot of people who played sports in Bible. It's not like they went and played football or they went and played cricket, but they played a sports that's mentioned in Bible. And uh, next if we see, uh, Jacob, uh, Jacob is one of the person we can see. It means he wrestled with the angels, something we can see in Bible, right? It is also one of the sport. Wrestling is one of the sport. And Jacob had played that sport in Bible. And uh, if we see like David also, we can take as an example like uh, uh, he had only five slings. With that, uh, he, he won Goliath. So that is also one of the sport we can see in Bible. And uh, Next, if we see in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27, uh, we'll, we'll get to know that. Do you know not that those who run in a race all run, but only one receives a praise? Run in such a way that you may win. So everyone will play sports, everyone will run a race, but in that only one can win a praise. That is what I mentioned. And next, everyone who competes in the games, exercises, self-control in all things, then they then do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we are imperishable. And the next verse is, therefore I run in such a way as not without aim, I box in such a way as not beating the air. And the last verse is, but I discipline my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified. So this is what uh, uh, verse I have got from Bible and it is related to sports, uh, what we play nowadays. And uh, next, uh, uh, starting I asked you all one question, right, is sports sin? Next slide is sports sin. So here we can see uh, sports are good but they can also develop satanic characteristics in us. You can ask me how it will develop satanic characteristics means uh, our most aim is to play sports is to make others lose. We should win but others should lose that is our aim and the next one if we see uh, mainly we'll concentrate on competitive and mentally we'll be like we have to win. We should not leave them. We should win some like that will thing. And the next one is uh, um, if someone don't know to pray, play properly and if we are playing with them, what we'll think is, oh, they are not knowing to play and we'll get angry, argue, we'll shout on them and we'll be upset like uh, so many things are there. And so uh, many times what we say is I play for exercise. Sports, if I play, I'll play, play it for exercise. But uh, it is a thing which uh, uh, makes us to reflect satanic characteristics to others. So it will also stop us from reflecting the fruits of spirit. So this is what I thought of saying. And also, uh, I told you all that playing, uh, I thought, means I talked about football right so in Bible also if we see like uh, Jacob uh, when Jacob and Isa they were they both were twins when they were in their mother's womb uh, here we can see one question like uh, in a in football a player tackles another player to end a play right in football they they'll tackle to win the other player like that uh, here also in mother's womb Jacob and Isa were the two twin brothers and uh, Jacob tackled his brother Isa. So this is also called as one of the characteristic of football player. And the next one if we see safety is most important thing in playing a football right. In that uh, from Bible if we see in the Bible what kind of safety did God provide as the occupation of cities and property in the holy land was taking place. So God also provided a safety here. It is none other but a city of refuge is called as safety. And uh, if we see about the next uh, Next question. So uh, in Bible we can see like one animal talked and it created a goofy thing in the midst of everyone. Can anyone guess? One animal talked and did somewhat goofy things. Bible in the animal when the pace donkey okay so that is also called here yeah. and uh, next le uh, let's see uh, in football the clock is stopped for fouls or when the ball carrier steps out is pushed out of bounds and time in essence the game stands still in bible this happened during a military battle the sun stood still who was leading the troops of israel at this time sun and abdin indri chill up on the yaar israel Joshua, okay. And uh, if, uh, the sports will run, if you are playing a sport, uh, there will be a group of people to encourage us, right? They will be shouting, uh, shouting. Uh, yeah. So like that, uh, we can see here, uh, not like shouting, but uh, uh, someone was sleeping in a temple and uh, 
he heard a three he heard a voice like three times can anyone guess who is that samuel okay so in bible la kuda paathona not only this thing but there are lot of things to learn uh, you can ask me like uh, uh, is everything given in the bible yes everything is given in the bible uh, when i saw this yesterday i was shocked like yeah football is also given in the bible so playing sports is not a sin but creating a satanic characteristic in us is a sin thank you